Good morning YouTube, welcome to the Reptile Barn. Today I just want to talk about two snakes real quick that confused me this year. <laughs> Here is a cinnamon. Okay, very, very common morph in the reptile world. Beautiful snake. Here is a lace black back. All right. These two snakes look similar, but they are definitely not the same thing. If they were the same thing, if they were both cinnamons, for example, bred together, they would produce a pure black snake, right? Often with some defects. Um, but they don't. When you breed these two together, you get a gargoyle. We actually have a banana gargoyle that I've shown on the vlog recently. Um, but So these snakes are allelic. That means that the allele that mutated to create a lace blackback or a cinnamon uh, occur on the same gene locus, right? And most gene loci can only hold two alleles at a time. So if you have a cinnamon lace blackback, that that gene locus cannot hold any more, right? So that would be a super. It's a it's a homozygous animal on that locus. But they're not the same thing. Um, they both produce a darker snake than a normal. All right, there's the cinnamon. Here's the lace blackback. They're both dark morphs, which we like here at the Reptile Barn. Beautiful dark snakes. Um, but uh, they do different things. Look at the lace blackback. Look at the sides. There's a lot of white uh, coming up the side, especially almost so much blushing in that bottom part towards the belly that it, you could just call it the color itself. It's not even blushing anymore. It's just a white <laughs> streak of color. Um, Sorry, snake. Right in this region here, right? Um, often, lace blackbacks have a very connected pattern on the back. Um, almost striping kind of thing, but uh, not always. This one, on honestly, this particular individual is not particularly striped. Um, and I feel like there is more jumbling of pattern in general on the lace blackback than on the cinnamon. Now, a little history. This lace blackback is really just a line bred, uh, het retizanthic, right? HRA, right? So same same thing as a het retizanthic. In my opinion, a really nice het retizanthic right here. And this is a cinnamon. They're on the same gene locus, all right? So all that is down. Well, our breedings, we have a male banana lace blackback he bred to various things. One of the females he bred was a banana cinnamon, okay? This was the only um, single gene cinnamon that came out. We initially thought it was a lace blackback. However, in the next clutch that was just that same male bred to a normal, this lace blackback came out and they looked vastly different. We had never produced a single gene cinnamon before. So I had only ever seen adult cinnamons and their color changes slightly as adults. So when I would compare this guy to our adult cinnamon, I didn't think it was a cinnamon. However, now I'm certain it is a cinnamon because it's very different from this. And this lace blackback looks like all the lace blackbacks we've produced in the past. So I'm now certain this is a cinnamon, this is a lace blackback. They're both beautiful. Um, these will both be for sale. They're eating great. I should have listed them for sale already, I'm just behind. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Also the heads, the cinnamon head. Oh, let me, f come on little snake, turn around. Try and, I don't know if the light's gonna work. He's not cooperating. And I only have the one hand to manipulate the snake because I did a silly thing and got two snakes out at the same time. The cinnamon head is darker, okay? Just just let's go with that. The cinnamon head is darker than the lace blackback head. There's his beautiful head. Here's the lace blackback head. They're not going to cooperate at all. So that was a total disaster, just trust me. 
cinnamon head darker than the lace black back head in our limited experience, okay? One other way to identify the two when you have them side by side, there is clearly more uh, orange in the cinnamon. It's absent in the het red azanthic, right? You can almost see why het red azanthics are called azanthics. They're not azanthics, but uh, they have that azanthic -y look. They're just kind of uh, lots more grays and stuff in their tone, whereas the cinnamon has lots of orange. Look at them side by side. It's, it's pretty evident when you hold them side by side. But the pattern and the color differences are enough that we're very, very, very confident this is a lace blackback, this is a cinnamon. So it was cool for us to produce two, both of the single gene versions uh, because we'd only produced them in combos before. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you real quick a side-by-side -side, and uh, we'll probably put this in our genetics uh, episodes because uh, I think that identifying morphs is super important to the ball python community and this was a first for us. So I hope this helps somebody out there. Thank you for watching. This has been Exploring Genetics with the Reptile. Brothers.